Let's talk about the top 10 Caribbean countries with digital nomad visas for remote workers in 2023. Digital nomads are individuals who work for an employer or for themselves remotely, identify as self-employed or freelancers. All they need is the internet to keep them connected to jobs, employers, coworkers, and clients. Working remotely in a different country has become especially popular for freelancers and remote workers since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. When I retire early, I'm looking to retire in or live in several different countries to experience their cultures. Here are some requirements prior to moving to the country on a digital nomad visa. The first one is access to healthcare in the host country and if your health insurance covers that area. You're most likely going to need to get international health insurance coverage from the US, except in Brazil and a few other countries. And you can check out my other video about the digital nomad visas linked in the description below. Another important factor is the internet speed and coverage in the host country. And the last requirement you should know is the length of the digital nomad visa the host country offers you. Is it going to be a one year visa with the possibility of extending for another year or something else? Most countries don't even charge you taxes for the income you make from outside of the host country. And they just want you to stay for the long term to contribute to their economic growth. So with that said, let's get right into it. Aruba is a constituent country of the Netherlands located in the mid-south of the Caribbean Sea. The island has an area of 75 square miles and a population of around 107,000 people. It's a popular tourist destination known for its white sandy beaches, clear blue waters, and warm climate. Aruba's economy heavily relies on tourism with a number of luxury hotels and resorts, restaurants, shops catering to tourists from all over the world. Aruba offers a digital nomad visa, also known as One Happy Workation, to individuals who remote work for a US company or self-employed freelancers. The digital nomad visa, unfortunately, is only good for 90 days without the possibility of an extension at this time. You'll need to provide proof of health insurance, a vaccination for yellow fever, and sufficient income income for the entire stay. However, digital nomads are not required to pay any income taxes because they're not considered a resident during their stay. The cost of living in Aruba is 11% higher than in the US, but the average rent is 55% lower. You also need to provide proof of a return plane ticket from Aruba when you apply for the digital nomad visa application. By the way, you can get my financial independence resources and spreadsheets for absolutely free by visiting firesuchet.com contact. You should also check out my firesuchet shop to check out the books and equipment I use at firesuchet.com shopping. Trinidad and Tobago is the southernmost island country in the Caribbean and a dual island Caribbean nation located just south of Grenada. It's also ranked fifth highest GDP per capita and recognized by the World Bank as a high income economy. It's the second wealthiest country in the Caribbean right behind the Bahamas. Trinidad and Tobago is well known for its multicultural diversity from Africa and India, beautiful beaches and natural landscapes. It also has one of the largest carnivals in the entire world that takes place annually in February with live street parties, music and colorful costumes. Trinidad and Tobago became a popular destination for American digital nomads because it accepts US dollars as a local currency, the cost of living is 27% lower, and the average rent is 70% lower in the US. It's become a significant country for foreign investors concentrating on information technology, manufacturing, and energy. As an American remote worker or freelancer, you'll need to apply for a working permit with the Ministry of National Security for up to 36 months. You'll need to provide proof of income, employment, and certain skill sets to contribute to their economy. By the way, if you need help with your personal finances like budget, savings, and investments to achieve your financial independence, you can schedule a free one-on-one 20-minute financial coaching session by visiting financialcom coaching. Antigua and Barbuda is an independent Commonwealth island nation located right between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. It's well known for reef-lined beaches, rainforests, and resorts. People visit there for corporate retreats to enjoy sailing, yachting, and many sea activities. It's famous for its music and the annual carnival, which takes place annually in August. Antigua and Barbuda depends largely on the tourism industry, which accounts for 80% of its GDP. The government offers a long-term digital nomad residency program for remote workers and freelancers working outside Antigua and Barbuda. The initial visa application fee for single individuals is $1,500 and $2,000 for every couple. 
The Digital Nomad Visa is good for the initial two years in the first application with the possibility to renew for additional years. You have to show proof of income of at least 50,000 US dollars each year for two years. The cost of living in Antigua and Barbuda is 4% higher and the average rent is 41% lower than in the US. You also have to show sufficient funds in your bank account to be able to support yourself and any accompanying dependents during your stay. Anguilla is a British territory in the Eastern Caribbean located just east of the British Virgin Islands and the US Virgin Islands. It's famous for its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and luxury resorts. Anguilla is also known for its annual festival Del Mar, which takes place annually with fresh seafood, live music, and the famous fishing contest. Anguilla attracts many high net worth individuals and Hollywood stars because the permanent residents can take advantage of no income tax, capital gains tax, or corporate taxation. Anguilla offers a digital nomad visa program for remote workers working for a foreign employer and freelancers working for themselves. The visa allows digital nomads and remote workers to stay between 3 and 12 months. However, it does not allow you to apply for an extension. The initial application fee is $2,000 for each individual and $3,000 per family of up to 4 people. You have to show proof of income of at least $55,000 a year and proof of COVID-19 vaccine prior to entering the country. The cost of living in Anguilla can be extremely high due to its local accommodations and amenities. Montserrat is a British territory in the Caribbean Sea known for the Sofriere Hills volcano which is very much active today, black sand beaches, and cultural heritage mixed with Irish, African, and Caribbean influences. The island went through some tough times with a volcano eruption in 1995 which displaced most of its residents as well as a category 4 hurricane in 1989 that wiped out 90% of its island. Despite its experiences with major, major uh, natural disasters in the past, Montserrat continues to be a tourist destination for those who enjoy a peaceful and relaxed atmosphere. If you're looking for a layback lifestyle, Montserrat might be worth looking into. Montserrat recently introduced a digital nomad visa to encourage foreign remote workers and freelancers to stay in the country for up to a year. The Montserrat remote worker stamp requires you to provide proof of employment from outside Montserrat or self-employment. You also have to show proof of annual income of at least 70,000 US dollars. The visa application fee is $500 for each individual and $750 per family of up to three people. Montserrat is ranked one of the safest places to live in the Caribbean with an extremely low crime rate. Dominica is an island nation located in the Caribbean known for its rainforests, waterfalls, hot springs, and volcanic landscapes. Dominica's Boiling Lake is a famous volcanic lake with steaming and bubbling waters. Dominica became a popular tourist destination for people who enjoy outdoor activities like scuba diving, snorkeling, rock climbing, and river rafting. People often confuse the Commonwealth of Dominica with the Dominican Republic. They're entirely different from one another. Dominica's tourism economy is slower than its neighboring islands due to its volcanic nature with fewer beaches. Agriculture continues to dominate Dominica's GDP. In an effort to boost Dominica's tourism economy, the government launched its Digital Nomad Visa program, also known as the Work in Nature program. The Prime Minister of Dominica himself promoted the visa program to attract foreign remote workers and freelancers to visit the island. You have to show proof of income of at least 50,000 US dollars every year. The initial visa application fee is $900 for each individual or $1,300 for each family. The Work in Nature program allows digital nomads and freelancers to stay in Dominica for up to 18 months as long as they're employed outside of Dominica. The cost of living is 8% lower than in the US and the average rent is 71% lower. Curacao is a Caribbean island located southeast of Aruba and known for its beautiful beaches and Dutch heritage. Curacao is a popular destination for water sports such as snorkeling, diving, windsurfing, and kiteboarding. Tourists go to Curacao for nightlife, festivals, and traditional music. Curacao is a top cruise destination in the Southern Caribbean, and tourism continues to be a major contributor to its economy. Many tourists call Curacao both exciting and relaxing due to its exotic nature. Curacao launched its digital nomad program in February 2021 for remote workers working outside of Curacao and freelancers working for themselves. You have to show proof of financial solvency by showing your recent bank statements with sufficient funds to pay for expenses during your stay. 
The digital nomad visa is good for the initial six month stay with the possibility to extend for another six months. The visa application fee is around $300 for each individual, and the process takes about two weeks to get approved. The cost of living in Curacao is about the same as in the US, but the average rent is 61% lower. St. Lucia is an island country in the Caribbean located northwest of Barbados. It's known for its rainforest, waterfalls, and volcanic beaches. It's a popular tourist destination, especially during the dry season between January and April. The agriculture and tourism industry continues to be the major contributors to St. Lucia's GDP. St. Lucia has a rich cultural heritage with a mix of African, French, and British influences. St. Lucia is also famous for holding jazz concerts and festivals every year. So if you're a jazz fan, St. Lucia might be worth looking into. While St. Lucia heavily depends on the tourism economy, they're looking to attract more long-term visitors like remote workers or freelancers working outside of St. Lucia. There are no minimum income requirements to live in St. Lucia as a digital nomad. However, the visa application will ask how much money you'll have in your bank account during your stay. You'll need to pay $125 for the single entry application fee or $190 for the multiple entry application fee. You won't need to pay any income tax during your stay for up to 12 months. You just need to provide proof of living, accommodation, and a return plane ticket to your host country. Jamaica is a Caribbean island nation located directly south of Cuba where 4 million people visit annually. The tourism industry in 2021 alone accounted for 19% of Jamaica's GDP and is projected to attract more tourists in the coming years. Jamaica is famous for its beautiful beaches with crystal clear waters, white sandy beaches, and palm trees. It's also known for its nightlife, water sports, and all-inclusive resorts. Jamaica is also famous for its spicy and flavorful cuisine, which is heavily influenced by African, Indian, and European flavors, such as Jamaican jerk chicken, ackee, and saltfish, and curry goats. Jamaica currently does not offer a digital nomad visa, however, they do offer a long-term work permit residency visa, which allows American remote workers and freelancers to work in Jamaica. The downside of the work permit is that it could take anywhere between six and eight months to get the application approved by the Ministry of Labor. You do not need to apply for the work permit extension as long as you're actively employed, but you will need to get a multiple entry visa to go in and out of Jamaica. You also need to provide proof of income and assets to show that you can be financially solvent during your stay in Jamaica. The initial application fee is $1,000 for every individual over the age of 16. The Dominican Republic is a Caribbean nation that shares the island with Haiti to the west and is located directly west of Puerto Rico. The revenue for the tourism industry in the Dominican Republic was $5.7 billion just in the year 2021 and is projected to increase to $30 billion by the year 2028. It's known for its beautiful beaches and outdoor activities like golf courses, hiking, zip lining, and rock climbing. It's also known for the vibrant nightlife with countless bars, clubs, and casinos located throughout the country. The Dominican Republic has a rich cultural heritage with a mix of African, Taino, and Spanish influences. And you can visit the Dominican Republic for up to 30 days visa-free. If you want to stay longer, you can apply for an extension for up to 90 days for 2,500 Dominican pesos or up to 120 days for 4,000 Dominican pesos. The government currently does not offer a digital nomad visa, but remote workers and freelancers can apply for the RT9 visa if they want to stay in the Dominican Republic for a year. You can also apply for an investor visa if you want to become a permanent resident by investing $200,000 US dollars in a Dominican entity. And if you want to know more about how to retire early outside of the US, be sure to check out these two videos. So with that said, I appreciate you watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.